Well, hello everyone. It's Nancy, the nurse practitioner. Here I am in my kitchen, ready for the holidays. And I wanted to share some really cool recipes with you that I've made that are plant-based. You know, plant-based means that you do not use refined sugars. You use more nuts and seeds, things like dates and fruits for, for, for a flavor. Um, you know, your mom and, and as we all get older and um, we have our taste buds change, the things that make us interested are sweets and we know our moms have sweet tooths and uh and our dads and it's so as long as you have a sugar that is a natural sugar in your sweets that are better for you it will not cause a yo-yoing of your sugars with the glycemic index which is the actual amount of uh, sugar potency in in the actual food to be high or low so uh, I'm here to show you that there are lots of things that you can use, such as dried berries, um, pecans, and nuts. I have dates cut out here, and I have actually coconut. And we are going to make a bark, and I'm going to show you also how to make um, the pecan and date balls that you can you know, roll out and put in the refrigerator. So I'm just going to show you the ingredients for that. But what I want to make sure that you're uh, knowing, and I'm just going to go over a couple things with you, is that, you know, your desserts can be healthy. They don't have to be full of sugar and refined sugars are really not good for us. Um, they're linked to cancers and diabetes, heart disease over time. So you do not want to feed sugars to your body. And the American Diabetic Association recommends that we eat a plant-based diet less dairy, less eggs, more of the legumes, whole grains, um, just a minimal amount of animal proteins, and, um, and reducing the highly refined foods like bleached flour or refined sugars. You know, I also found some really cool sugar um, called coconut. Well, there's coconut flour, which you could buy in the store. And I also found coconut sugar. And it, it comes in a similar packet. And you could also use things like coconut butter and coconut oil in your foods instead of regular vegetable oil should not be used. Um, it actually uh, the problems with um, free radicals and um, is not good for inflammation. So, you know, you want to look for plant-based recipes. I got this really cool book um, and it's 35 healthy desserts to rejuvenate your whole body. Really cool. I got this online, but you could just go online and download something that you want to do, like, like I said, like the bark. Now, uh, natural sweeteners like honey, maple syrup, coconut sugar, molasses, applesauce, bananas, and dates can all be used to be the, the sugar or the sweetness in your foods. So um, they do have calories, they do, but just a little. They do have vitamins and they do have minerals, but they are low glycemic index. And the thing that's cool is it doesn't yo-yo your sugars, they're not um, your blood sugars, and they're not just empty calories. So let's go on and I'm gonna show you how to make the bark. All you do is take two large pieces of 72% cocoa chocolate, which you get in the grocery store, and you're going to take a pot and put water in it, and then take a bowl and put it in it like, like a double boiler, okay? and you're gonna melt your chocolate. So my chocolate's melting over here. I'm going to bring it over so you can see it. Ooh, that's pretty hot. Okay, so all you're gonna do is once this chocolate is melted, you're gonna take it off the stove and you're just going to uh, pour it. I'll just grab a pot holder so I don't burn myself. You're just gonna pour it onto your, um, you're gonna take a cookie pan and put either a piece of wax paper or parchment paper down on it and just pour all of the chocolate that's melted right onto the wax paper. And you don't wanna make it too thick because you wanna be able to put all sorts of nuts and coconut, um, berries, anything you like on it. I'll tell you what, this is a real decadent recipe. And what makes it so deceiving is you think that you're eating something naughty, <laughs> but you're not. You're actually eating dark chocolate, which is good for you, which is an antioxidant. 
And you're also eating nuts and berries, which is plant-based. So you're going to need a spatula also just to scrape all this good chocolate, every bit of it, out of this bowl onto this sheet. And just going to finish that here for a minute so you can see. And I'm just going to spread the chocolate out just a little. Don't make it too thin. All right. Make a square out of it. All right. Just like that. Can you see that, everybody? Okay. And then, like I said, I bought things like um, dried cherries. Oh, my gosh. I love dried cherries. So we are going to sprinkle some dried cherries on there. Take it out of this little bag here. I got these in the grocery store. And just kind of move them around the chocolate. You know, disperse them around a little. Okay. Not too many, because we're going to put some other things on there, too. And I love coconut. I get the unsweetened coconut, um, the red mill. There's a whole bunch of the different grains and stuff in the red mill section. And just sprinkle some coconut on there, just like that. Yum. And then for some nutty taste, we'll put some uh, pumpkin seeds. Whoops and just kind of drop them on here. I made a mess. Just pick them up and move them around on here. Okay, and just sprinkle them on. And the other thing I love to add to this is um, almonds. So we have some nice slivered almonds. Have them all ready, and you could just sprinkle them on here like this. Okay, just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, this is going to be yum when this is ready. Okay, and I even have a little bit of dates, and I'm just going to stick them on there just to change it around this time. All right, so this is your bark. You could put this in the refrigerator, and once it's nice and uh, firm, you could break it up into squares like this and just put them in your cookie box that you're giving people. I'll tell you what. Mmm. This is so good. Delish. Okay, so that is that. Now we're going to make something called pecan date bars or bowls, balls, you can actually call them. And you're going to need some coconut to roll them in when you're done. You're going to need a food processor or Cuisinart. One cup of pecans, pour it in there. And one cup of, of uh, dates, pour it in there. And you're going to put a little bit of vanilla, just a little bit to moisten it. And you're going to really chop this up into very, very fine pieces. I'm not going to do that now because it makes too much noise. So it's all nice and doughy. Make little balls, put it on some wax paper, put it in the refrigerator. But right before you do that, if you feel like it, you can roll them in a little bit of coconut. Yum. And I'll tell you what, when you add this to your uh, meals for your, your family for desserts, They'll never know that there's no sugar in it, but natural products. I made these the other day. These are fudge raspberry uh, brownies. Look up plant-based fudge raspberry brownies. They have coconut oil. They have no natural sugar in them. And um, I'll tell you what, they are just delicious. To make them rise, they have uh, baking soda and baking powder, you know. But I'll tell you what. You like to have your sweets, but you want to make sure that you're not doing yourself any harm at this point, especially if it tastes just as good as the stuff you would get in the store. Remember to shop in the outside of the grocery store. Stay away from packaged foods. You know, fresh is best. As many vegetables and fruits as you can eat in a day, the better. So from Nancy, the nurse practitioner, I hope you enjoyed this video and bon appetit. Uh, happy holidays to everyone and see you at the next video. If you like my videos, please join me on Caregiver Success on YouTube.